the most fascinating thing about water when you look at it around the world is how fundamental it has been to the survival and the thriving of every society that's existed throughout history. Our ability to deliver clean uh, drinking water, uh, to have uh, safe sanitation, uh, this is one of the very foundations of our quality of life. Today we've got a population of seven billion people and the challenge becomes how do we feed all those people? How do they have the water to sustain their life? In my field, how do we produce the energy that will make the difference between economies that succeed and those that struggle? We have a situation globally where urbanization is proceeding rapidly and people expect that 70% of the world will be urbanized by the end of the century compared to around 30% today. This creates an opportunity for consolidated water services, but it also poses hotspots of water stress. Irrigated agriculture consumes about 70% of all global accessible fresh water. In Asia, this figure is even higher. So efficiency in irrigated agriculture is the first order of business. We're in danger of neglecting our water infrastructure. We believe that we can uh, work ourselves into a crisis. We don't take some of the steps that are needed now. The American Society of Civil Engineers estimates that we need something like $360 billion of investment in restoring infrastructure. What we need to do is to uh, educate people uh, about the true value of water. Water needs to be pumped up from the ground, water needs to be treated, wastewater needs to be collected and treated, and all of these things require large quantities of energy. To be an expert in water, Today, you also need to be an expert in energy. We are really in uncharted territory in terms of thinking about water efficiency and power efficiency as part of the same equation. But I think well-intentioned people, smart people, can come together and come up with great new ideas. When we have reached so low in our ability to manage our water resources, the only way out is up, and therefore, a huge opportunity for reform in creating water markets, in creating uh, an environment where efficiency is the only incentive in town. The private sector can help to develop new solutions and new technologies that uh, have unique um, sort of characteristics to be able to solve problems that we haven't been able to solve in the past. Many people believe that we face unprecedented challenges, but I think these really translate into uh, major opportunities for people who can address these societal risks, and these opportunities come in the form of innovation and technologies, as well as in the business models for providing those technologies at appropriate prices and assuring reliability and quality. We're going to have to find new sources of water, and, and in exploring those new sources of water, many business opportunities present themselves. The very fact that uh, Xylem is looking at these uh, uh, new ways, uh, is exploring them, is something to be uh, applauded. I think Xylem uh, is in excellent position to, to, to be a real leader in large parts of the, the water management industry. Clearly on technology, Xylem is innovating every day. A company like Xylem, which is perpetually innovating, and looking at smart solutions can certainly take the lead in providing the technology that will allow local governments to reduce the water losses, both physical losses as well as commercial loss. We need smart grids in water like we have them in the energy sector or the telecom sector. Why can't water be the same? The broader challenges, I think, are, are, are building uh, more innovation in the way you overall manage water. Our current water resources are not going to expand. As a result, we have to look to new technologies, new ways of creating water. Time will not wait for us. Cities, as we have known it in the past, have died. Civilizations have, have expired because of the way in which they manage their water. We must learn from history. With education comes understanding. With understanding comes the right type of actions that will make water sustainable for the future. The beautiful thing about water is that it's infinitely renewable. With the right kind of management uh, of the resource, it can be available forever.